It's it, man. How you guys doing today? Today we're going to open up a pretty rare product. I haven't been able to find much of this at all. But I was able to get some. This is Optic Choice. It is a big hitter product. Each box only comes with six cards. One auto in each box for like $450 to $500. So, are you guys ready to rip? Let's do it. Welcome back everybody. Optic Choice, like Panini's other choice products, of just a few cards per pack, but it's like all the hits. You're gonna get the choice parallels, some numbered cards possibly, but the big chase is the Nebulas, which are one of ones. So they're choice Nebulas. You are gonna get one auto per box. There's other parallels such as Dragons as well that are super short printed, I believe. So this product is released internationally most of the time. And uh, honestly, I haven't been able to find much of it but I was able to get uh, a case of it, so we will be breaking some of it in group breaks as well. But here are my own two personal boxes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. This is 2021-22 Optic Choice. You're gonna find six cards inside. You're gonna find one autograph per box on average. You're gonna unwrap two exclusive Raider Rookies Choice Prisms per box on average. And there is the back. Same optic set, basically without all the base cards. You're just gonna get the parallels. You're gonna get base hollows. Choice red and green are the are their non-numbered parallels. You have the red choice, number to 88. You have the black golds, number to eight, I believe, usually. And then the nebulas are one of one, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open two boxes today. Let's see if we can uh, hit a big rookie auto. I actually have not even seen one of these boxes open. Like I said, they seem to be harder to find this year. I don't know if there's a, you know, something to do, do with uh, COVID or manufacturing thing. I don't know, but there's box. Here's pack number one, box number one, six cards. It's basically like opening <laughs> a hobby box without all the base cards. All right, I don't know the configuration, so we'll just go ahead and rip. This will be a quicker rip. Looks like we're gonna start off with the hollow on top and it's a, a decent one, Moses Moody on the hollow. So so is that a, I think we actually hit a dragon scale and it looks like the auto is right behind this. So we're gonna go to the back. Let's go to the back. Those are the base cards. Um, that is gonna be John Collins on the team color red choice. I wonder if that's numbered. We have a, looks like we have a rookie behind it. Let's take a look at the rookie. Rookie is going to be Charles Bassey for the Sixers. Um, okay, so the red choice are numbered to 88. 40 of 88. Looks like, you know what? It looks like every card in this set, except for the hollows, might be numbered, which is uh, which is probably why everything's short. Seems hard to find. Maybe it's just not printed a lot of it. So John Collins to 88. Bassey and our last rookie is going to be for the Hornets, Kai Jones. I believe these are also to 88. Actually... I was wrong. So this red one is not numbered. This is a red mojo. That one is not either. Is this a different parallel? So the rookies, see this, this one's numbered 88. Now I can't tell the difference between these two. So that's really strange. Usually uh, one of these would be like red and black and the other one, or red and green and the other one would be like red. But apparently the vet is numbered 88, but these rookies are not that's really strange but they they look like the same parallel so it doesn't make sense panini usually doesn't do that i mean they're the exact same parallel i'm trying to find a difference here and they're both red mojos that is really strange we got two rookies non-numbered and one vet numbered looks like we do have an auto and our dragon scale let's go ahead and take a look at the dragon scale first um looks like a vet though on the dragon scale so we're going to turn it around Oh, that's not that's actually upside down dragon scales are super short printed i don't know if they're one per case or that's gonna be a vet and that's gonna be kemba kemba walker on the dragon scales i don't believe this one is numbered yeah the dragon scales have never been numbered but there's your look at this year's dragon scale same mojo design it's kind of like the choice mojo design um looks like i see maybe a couple dragons on the side there white pretty pretty similar to last year if I, if I remember correctly all right and then we have our auto which we're gonna bring this one in 
I oh my gosh, I think I see gold. I think I see gold auto. I love gold. We have gold. a dragon scale and a gold. I definitely see gold. I don't know if that's team color or what, but here it is. That is going to be. Oh, it's this way. Good luck to me. Optigraphs, maybe gold. Zaire Williams on the Optigraphs. Gold? Four of eight. Wow, we did pull a gold auto. That's a pretty nice hit. Zaire Williams. Black gold. I mean, I don't know how much this stuff is printed, but four of eight on the Zaire Williams. We will take that. Gold auto and a dragon scale in the first box. If I was to only open one box of this, I'd probably stop after that first box. But we're going to go ahead and open two. Why not? I don't think the second box would, would uh, is going to match up to the first box. That was a pretty good box. I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Odds are, though, are, odds, odds are this second box will not be as good as the first box. But there is a chance. Let's get, a, let's get even a better box. All right, we have our hollow on top and it is actually Cole Anthony. We have our choice. Okay, so they're different colors this time. I'm seeing I'm seeing a red green. Let's go ahead and save the auto for last. All right, the, and I think I see another black gold. The red green is gonna be Eric Gordon. Let's pull from the two back. The rookies are gonna be Bones Highland. Bones Highland and Preston, I believe. No, Keon Johnson. So that is your rookie mojos. So these are, again, not numbered. The Keon Johnson not numbered. The Eric Gordon red and green might be numbered, but let's go ahead and take a look at the... That's upside down. At the black gold. Black gold should be to eight. Here's the black. It is a vet, though. And that is going to be James Wiseman on the second year black gold. There we go. So that should be to eight. That is five of eight on the Wiseman. And then this one is the green red. I wonder if this one's numbered. Okay, the green red is not numbered. Okay, now, now I'm <laughs> confused. So green red and the moat and the red choice rookies are not numbered. I think what it is is usually choice has their own um, rookies that are not numbered, but this year they made them the same parallel as the reds, which are numbered to 88. And then you have your grace, uh, your base, green reds that are also not numbered hmm that's an interesting way of putting that makes sense last card is an auto i mean no way it's another gold auto right <laughs> is that even is that possible all right so there's the cole anthony hollow all right here it is last card it is an auto the auto's on the bottom so we're looking at upside down should be an optographs i see a ball that is going to be uh, Quentin Grimes for the Knicks. Uh, that is a I wonder if that's numbered. That's on our on the similar, so not numbered on the auto there. So Quentin Grimes, our second auto. Like I said, that first box, uh, the second box had very little chance of living up to the first box because I got a good first box. But there it is, Quentin Grimes on the Optigraphs. I mean, these boxes are 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 absolute fire. Uh, Choice has always been a popular format because you do get just all the hits basically is, is what you get from there. All right, let's go ahead and do the recap. Here are the two hollows. You're guaranteed one hollow per box. Moses Moody and Cole Anthony. Then we had the base uh, red, John Collins to 88. And the green red choice, Eric Gordon, that one was not numbered. Then you had your choice rookies. None of these are numbered. We did hit a dragon scale, dragon choice they call it, which is Kemba Walker. That, that one was also not numbered on the Ken, Kemba Walker. And then our autos were Quentin Grimes. We did hit a black gold of Wiseman and the black gold auto of Zaire Williams. Now this is an expensive rip at $450 to $500 per box. So the price on this falls right in between the Optic Fast Break and the Hobby Box. So if you like to open a lot of packs, this one's not for you. But if you don't want all the base cards and all that good stuff and you just want to go for the big hits, 
this is the box to get. Honestly, I think I'd rather just open an Optic Choice because I think the hit potential is bigger. You're gonna get guaranteed number cards and guaranteed hits, so. And I believe it's gonna be easier to hit Nebulas just because they're, it, the boxes are gonna be shorter printed. So there you are. My pick is Optic Choice over Hobby or even uh, Fast Break. Do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Check you guys out next time.